Construction crews reached a milestone in February by pouring concrete for the first span of the new Choctahatchee Bay Bridge. The first of 85 concrete spans for the 2.4 mile structure is located on land at what will be the southern approach for the bridge. Ed Hudek of the engineering firm HDR is the senior project engineer overseeing the effort for the Florida Department of Transportation District 3. The pump trunk pumps the concrete up on the bridge in front of the screed. The screed is equipped with screws, rollers, and drags behind it a, a pan with a piece of burlap on it. The screws keep moving the concrete forward toward the end of the pour. The rollers flatten the concrete, and then the burlap behind gives the concrete a rough finish. We actually place what we call a thick deck because in the end, we'll profilograph the whole bridge deck, picking up the highs, et cetera, and then we'll, we'll actually grind the whole bridge deck to get that surface as smooth as we can, and then we groove it, obviously for wheel control of vehicles and for drainage. The first deck span is 40 feet wide and 142 feet long. It required approximately 180 cubic yards of concrete. The next major milestone is driving the concrete production piles across Choctahatchee Bay. That work will require using large mounted construction cranes to position and then drive the piles into the bay floor. Pile driving is slated to begin in May. You can follow construction progress on Facebook or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation, District 3.